The 30th of January, 1933, Germany. Adolf Hitler, the leader of the Nazi party, is appointed Chancellor of Germany and aims to lead the German master race to victory in the racial struggle against those deemed as inferior peoples, especially the Jews. The Nazi regime quickly begins to restrict the civil and human rights of the Jewish people and gradually excludes them from professions, businesses, and public spaces. The first concentration camp, Dachau, is established less than two months after Hitler became the Chancellor. Between 1933 and 1945, Nazi Germany and its European allies would establish more than 44,000 camps and other incarceration sites, including ghettos. The perpetrators would use these locations for forced labor, detention of people deemed to be enemies of the state, and the mass murder of millions. One such perpetrator is a German Nazi guard, Emma Zimmer. Emma Anna Maria Zimmer the eldest child of a pharmacist, Oscar Mesel, and his wife Maria, was born on the 14th of August, 1888, in Hasmersheim, then part of the German Empire. Zimmer was 44 years old when, in 1933, Adolf Hitler and his Nazi party came into power in Germany. Women such as Emma were central to Adolf Hitler's plan to create an ideal Aryan community. Hitler valued women for both their activism in the Nazi movement and their biological power as generators of the race. In Nazi thinking, a larger, racially purer population would enhance Germany's military strength and provide settlers to colonize conquered territory in Eastern Europe. The Third Reich's aggressive population policy encouraged racially pure women to bear as many children as possible. Nazi population policy took a radical turn in 1936 when SS leaders created the state-directed program known as Lebensborn, meaning Fount of Life. Lebensborn Ordinance prescribed that every SS member should father four children, in or out of wedlock. Lebensborn homes sheltered single mothers with their children, provided birth documents and financial support, and recruited adoptive parents for the children. In the end, however, the Lebensborn program was never promoted aggressively, and only around 7,000 children were born into Lebensborn homes during the program's nine-year-long existence. Instead, Nazi population policy concentrated on the family and marriage. The state encouraged matrimony through marriage loans, dispensed family income supplements for each new child, publicly honored child-rich families, bestowed the cross of honor on the German mother and women bearing four or more babies, and increased punishments for abortion. However, German women played a vital role in the Nazi movement, which by far exceeded the Nazi party's propaganda that a woman's place was strictly in the home as mothers and childbearers. Of the estimated 40 million German women in the Reich, some 13 million were active in the Nazi party organizations, serving as welfare workers, teachers, secretaries, nurses, auxiliaries in the armed forces and police, and in many other occupations, including as guards in concentration camps. A minority of German women who resisted the regime's policies or were branded biologically inferior were persecuted. Hundreds of thousands were forcibly sterilized, and tens of thousands more were incarcerated in the camp system. Part of that camp system was Lichtenberg Concentration Camp, where Emma Zimmer became a guard in 1937. One year later, she was appointed assistant to the female superintendent of this camp, Johanna Langefeld. Housed in a Renaissance castle, Lichtenberg was among the first concentration camps to be built by the Nazis and was operated by the SS from 1933 to 1939. From 1937 to 1939, it held only female prisoners. One of the camp's most prominent prisoners was Olga Benario Prestes, a German communist activist. In February 1938, after the birth of her child, she was first sent to the Lichtenberg concentration camp, and later, when it was closed in May 1939, Benario Prestes, as well as Emma Zimmer, and the remaining Lichtenberg Nazi staff and prisoners were sent to the newly opened Ravensbrück concentration camp. At Ravensbrück, which replaced Lichtenberg as the main camp for female prisoners, Benario Prestes was whipped, tortured, and placed in a punishment bunker while working as a slave laborer in a Siemens factory. Ravensbrück, opened in May 1939, was the only major women's camp established by the Nazis. In total, some 132,000 women from all over Europe passed through the camp, including Poles, Russians, Jews, Roma and Sinti people, and others. 
Of that number, over 92,000 women perished. Ravensbrück camp was staffed both by SS men who served as guards and administrators, and by 150 women who served as supervisors. These female supervisors were either SS volunteers or women who had taken a job for the good pay and working conditions. Ravensbrück also housed a training camp for female SS guards, who were trained here how to handle the prisoners that they were going to supervise. These prisoners would have to work until they died, and the task of their supervisors, such as Emma Zimmer, was to get the maximum amount of work out of them whilst they were still alive. Ravensbrück thus also became a training center or a school of violence for about 3,500 female guards who went on to serve either there or at other concentration camps. At Ravensbrück, Zimmer became a guard in the bunker, the punishment block, dealing with prisoner punishment, and was known in the camp for being brutal and sadistic in her guard duties. After the war, Maria Widmeyer, a Holocaust survivor, recalled how at Ravensbrück, Zimmer became infamous for her brutal treatment of prisoners, whom she would beat with everything that was at hand, without any reason, until they lay still. According to Widmeyer, on one occasion, Zimmer grabbed a young Polish woman who was having hysterical fits one winter morning during roll call, and threw her into the water repeatedly. The Polish woman was then expected to work outside the camp without changing, and died shortly after. For her brutal treatment of the female prisoners, in mid-1940, Zimmer was promoted to deputy head warden, and in October 1942, a head warden. One of her new duties in these positions was selection of internees to be killed at the Bamberg Euthanasia Center, which was one of the six gassing installations for adults established as part of the Nazi euthanasia campaign, codenamed T4. As a part of Action 14F13, seriously ill concentration camp inmates, or those who for other reasons were unable to work, were murdered at Bamberg as well. They were referred to as Ballast. Action 14F13 also dealt with Jewish prisoners, regardless of their actual state of health. By the spring of 1942, 1,400 women from Ravensbrück had been killed in Bamberg. One such prisoner was previously mentioned, Benario Prestes, who was gassed alongside hundreds of other female political prisoners at Bamberg Euthanasia Center in 1942. A total of 9,384 sick and handicapped people, from 33 welfare institutions and nursing homes, as well as around 5,000 prisoners from six concentration camps, were killed there in the gas chamber using carbon monoxide gas. From October 1942, Emma Zimmer was deployed in auschwitz birkenau which was located in German-occupied Poland. Birkenau was the largest of more than 40 camps and subcamps that made up the Auschwitz complex. It was divided into 10 sections, separated by electrified barbed wire fences. It was patrolled by SS guards, including after 1942, SS dog handlers. During its three years of operation, it had a range of functions. When construction began in October 1941, it was supposed to be a camp for 125,000 prisoners of war. It opened as a branch of Auschwitz in March 1942 and served at the same time as a center for the extermination of Jews. In its final phase, from 1944, it also became a place where prisoners were concentrated before being transferred to labor in German industry in the depths of the Third Reich. At Auschwitz, Zimmer was notorious for her brutal and sadistic behavior towards the prisoners. After the war, one Holocaust survivor remembered Emma Zimmer as follows. Our supervisor was an old and mean SS woman called Emma Zimmer. She was vicious and dangerous and frightening us constantly with threats, proclaiming in a sadistic voice, I will report you, then you will go away. You know where? Just one way up the chimney. We hated her and were scared of her. From May 1943, Zimmer headed the postal censorship office in the women's camp of the Auschwitz concentration camp, and in September 1943, she was awarded the War Merit Cross, second class without swords. However, at the end of 1943, she was released from concentration camp service. Whether due to old age or because of alcohol consumption is not known. From June 1944, Zimmer lived in Schlichtern, where after the end of the Second World War, she was arrested. Justice finally caught up with Zimmer when she was tried at the 7th Ravensbrück trial, which started on the 2nd of July, 1948. 
The charges against her and five other female camp wardens were mistreatment of inmates of allied nationality and participation in selection of inmates for the gas chamber. On the 21st of July, 1948, the military tribunal sentenced Emma Zimmer to death by hanging. She was 60 years old when she was hanged by Albert Pierpoint on the gallows at Harmelin Prison on the 20th of September, 1948. There were no tears shed for Emma Zimmer. Thanks for watching the World History Channel. Be sure to like and subscribe, and click the bell notification icon so you don't miss our next episodes. We thank you, and we'll see you next time on the channel.